Creative approaches to solve problems, as exemplified in our sensors and complex drivetrain. Our robot's unique feature is the shooter mechanism, which is a rotating putty knife that uses tension from a trigger bar to project particles. Our multifunctional sweeper collects and drops particles into the corner vortex. To fix hardware alignment problems in Autonomous, we program sensors to minimize errors. Our flexible strategy helps us cooperate effectively with our alliance partners. For our first tournament, our offense-focused strategy started with Autonomous, where we shoot two balls and press both beacons. Then in Teleop, we can easily pick up and launch balls and press all beacons due to our maneuverable drivetrain. For future tournaments, we want to pick up and score the cat ball in the endgame. Also, if we know we're outscoring our opponents to increase our ranking points, we launch the other alliance's balls into the opposing vortex. Our robot is completely modular. This allows us to make repairs quickly, and when we need to tweak one module, we don't need to take out any other module. Anytime we need custom pieces, we can design it in CAD. Use PTC Clio to make blueprints of the robot before we build it and make custom parts. We use mathematics when designing the robot to ensure the parts will look how we want it to. Our robot's drive system uses Omni wheels in order to allow fast turning. We use various sensors in conjunction to locate and maneuver a robot within the field. Our sweeper and shooter are placed in close proximity to streamline the launching process. We simplify controls as much as possible by coding common routines into the Teleop program. Robot designs are completed in advance and all changes are finalized before the tournament for maximum reliability. Before building, we plan out our robot functions. We brainstorm ideas and separate into groups to design each module. We document and compare our ideas with design drawings. We use Algadoo to test the physics of moving parts such as our launcher, and P2C Creo to verify the feasibility of our dimensions. After testing modules for functionality, we refine the robot. All 14 members of our team work in their own specific part by dividing and conquering the work needed to achieve our goals. Our team is organized into specialized subunits consisting of a veteran and a new member. This cross training decreases one member dependency and increases team functionality. Team Super 7 loves FTC. You can always see us supporting all teams with our team cheer and dancing at tournaments. We have bright yellow shirts, red shoes, and colorful robot parts. Our mascot, Ace the Dog, is a huge part of our enthusiasm. We have a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, and a website to spread the word about our team and FIRST. In addition, we utilize WhatsApp, Basecamp, OneDrive, and email to communicate between team members. My favorite part of outreach is meeting new experienced professionals at places like the Orlando International Airport. Our team members volunteer at Leak Builder Days and represent FIRST at Maker Fairs and Creo Workshops. We hosted a summer camp for kids who were new to robotics, teaching them designing and programming techniques through FLL-like challenges our team created. At the end of the camp, we had a mock competition and they had a blast. Super 7 continuously modifies our documented funding plan as we log in new budget data. We track our expenses and adjust our spending to ensure we stay on course. Our funding comes from grants, sponsorships, member dues, and parent contributions. Our unique fundraising method is demonstrating our robot events to gain sponsors. We are currently on track with our fundraising goals. Thanks for watching our video!